you guys kind of looking forward to getting on the road a little bit, change the scenery? Yeah, we've been home for uh, most of October. Um, you know, it's time to test what we can do on the road. Obviously, we haven't played our best basketball on the road, but we haven't had 100% uh, health in that aspect, but still no excuses. But hopefully we can get some guys to come back and also play better basketball on the road. we got to be able to win games on the road if we want to be the last team standing. How much are you looking forward to that, getting everybody back, seeing what you guys can, can be at, at full strength? I'm looking strength. forward more to that more than anything, um, just having us 100%, which may never happen. You know, through a season, 82 games, somebody's always out, bumps, bruises, wherever it may be. But we can get 90, 95% of the guys there if we get 100, 100%, you know, healthy. That'll be great to see, you know, to play with. But um, you know, we're getting better. We're trying to get better with each game, whether regardless of win or loss. Um, but it's a good test for us right now to come up on the road. I you're kind of curious about what the teams you're going to see, be it Phoenix, LA. Uh, we always kept the mentality, well, I have anyway, of of not worrying about what other teams are doing, uh, about what we're doing, where we're at. We know the potential that we have and where we could be. Um, we haven't reached that yet. We've seen some glimpses of it. We want to do it for full 48. So we keep, take care of our business and continue to get better and do what we're supposed to do, then everything else will take care of itself. Have you seen uh, Aiden at all, though? He's kind of a throwback center. I mean, they're pretty rare in today, but he's the first pick, and they're, they're trying to build around him. Now. I haven't seen much of him. I've seen a little bit of highlights clips. Obviously, he's part of the Puma gang, so big fan of him in that aspect. But uh, other than I know he's a very talented big. You know, he's great at what he does. But, um, you know, we have some guys here that have to do a good job of limiting him and everybody else. They have some other good guys on that team. Obviously, Book, we don't know if he's going to play or not. Uh, you know, they got Trevor Reason in the summer, Ryan Anderson in the summertime. You know, they picked up some good pieces, so they're going to be a tough team. So are you just looking forward to get out, getting into some arenas that you're used to being in, getting out west again? Uh, I haven't really thought about it until you brought it to mind, but it would be nice uh, to get a, a you know, Good rhythm in those other cities, but to we play good at home, we got to play good on the road. We got to build that rhythm at, on the road as well. We haven't really shot well on the road. We haven't played well on the road, so we're gonna try to you know, you know carry that over from the home court to the road if we can. Expecting a bit of a circus for Kawhi in LA at all, or you think he just tunes all that stuff out? And... I hadn't thought about that either until you brought it to mind. Um, no, I'm not really expecting a circus in LA. Um, should be another game. They already have a pretty good squad out there already. And um, it's a big city. They have a lot going on. So I don't see them doing much recruiting. They might. You never know. But either way, it's going to be a fun game. We always have fun playing in those buildings. A lot of time. Um, focus, mental focus, especially from our young guys. But it's going to take some time. These couple months of knowing each other, rhythm, chemistry, and uh, you know, just getting the rhythm, I guess, more, more so than anything. But and you know, locking in some leadership. You know, all the little things that we need to, to get you know, mentally focused for that time.